ask Sam now. We know say Q day, but if he hold gallon, stand for line. Percy go know what he go happen this evening now. Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't. Yeah, welcome to news. Seriously, uh, it they happen to everybody. You understand? I just send them. They help me go buy for it because you know we still the Q for situation still be as to get for Nigeria. But moving on, let's just go straight to the headlines. Um, I don't ready. You don't ready? We are ready. Let's go. So, big G's first. We are starting with the issue of fire. Yes, fire. Oh, fire. Oh, yeah. That was what they were shouting in the Ministry of Finance as we hear say fire being cashed their inverter room. They shock everybody. Say they won't get inverter. Well, let's move on. Yahoo boys. So they say they must be very, very brilliant. And this is coming from Obaseki as he says we need to redirect their thinking positively. Moving on, uh, the minister of states for power says power failure is a teen of the past. It shocked you. It shocked me too. But let's just move on to other gist. Federal government is revealing why China stops giving loans to Nigeria. Only basically now don't get reason to postulate. But let's just move on because uh, inside uni in Lori, we hear say the VC now uh, is advising new medical inductees not to travel abroad for practice. Yeah, but well, in uh, Buari's administration, this is the only major fraud crisis. Uh, yeah, you see how the stories they take a link. But this is coming from Femi Addition and saying that the fraud crisis, this is the only one that we have witnessed in this administration. It's part of the headlines, but we will dive into the story. And you definitely can't make this up because um, an Iranian death row inmate dies from happiness after finding out he will not be executed. So in the case of the happiness killer, this is the story. Moving on also, US-based Nigerian doctor has been arrested for allegedly slapping a patient multiple times, accusing her of faking a seizure. Say she fake, say she faint. He can't tear, tear and slap, say me she wake up. Eh, when they wake up, when they wake up, it can't be say they arrest and say na assault and battery. On a serious note, we'll be talking on the issues between Russia and Ukraine. That will really be a serious discussion on news seriously. We'll catch you after this short break. My name is Remains, MC Bluetooth, CCFR. We'll be right back. Yeah, welcome back to News Seriously. As I said, my name is MC Blue to CCFR, and we are starting first with the one that fire service itself even had to be called because they were shouting fire, oh, fire, oh, fire everywhere. Yes, we are talking about the Ministry of Finance that um, catch fire, basically. So now, um, the Federal Ministry of Finance um, headquarters located in the central area of the Federal Capital Territory was gutted by fire on Wednesday. Yeah. Everybody call the whole bucket, call the shouting, Mona, cause the fire, oh. But well, uh, as it is, they say the fire only uh, catch the inverter room of the ministry. And the fire service say it was under control as the team did not bomb plenty things. But you know Nigerians now, we call the talk, say we shock, say Ministry of Finance, get yeah, inverter room. When the full Nigeria, they suffer from power, Magana. When the team say they go, we follow us till they suffer. You understand? But no, no, say they get back up power. They get solar. <laughs> they get inverter. Wow, that's betrayal. I thought we'll be suffering together, you know. But fire I don't catch on our room, so I no get light on our office. <laughs> In a joke, but you know, it's, it's a shocking something that up to now we are still unable to put um, basic procedures to curb in incidences of fire outbreaks, mostly in ministries. This is not the first time we are having a federal ministry being gutted by fire. But well, fire service, kudos. We yes, say we no use bucket, we no actually use hose to take quench the fire. So we'll just move on. At least we hear say money no be dead yet. No document born before the contact say, oh, but see they try hide something. Can't go born document. You know they had Nigerians to take the postulate. You know they had them. But let's just move on to the issues that are coming from Edo State. As uh, the governor, Godwin Obaseki, is saying that Yahoo boys are very brilliant and we need to redirect their focus. Well, he made this statement um, as he referred to the popular Yahoo boys and said that they must be very brilliant and dope people and their brilliance can be redirected to a better cause. Now, the governor said this in a town hall meeting in Edo State um, where he was addressing education policy. And according to the, go to the governor, instead of condemning cyber fraud, the root cause should be addressed just like the cause of human trafficking. So you see, we've done the thing straight, aka Twitter swindler. You are not saying we should redirect their focus. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Actually, in um, Sena Climbs, when we had the movie, I don't know whether you've watched that film, Catch Me If You Can. Uh, yes, the government had to redirect the focus of the man, and later he was employed by the FBI, and he was dealing on cyber crimes and other related issues. Maybe that's where the governor is actually looking. He's eyeing the front. See, our Yahoo boys are brilliant boys. You know, aka African prince, aka Nigerian princes, say that they should redirect. No, 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 wait till they call them. Say they should redirect their focus so that they'll stop calling them prince. They'll call them African kings. 
Well, well, as we know, no excuse for crime, and I'm sure the governor is actually looking for a positive way to channel negativity so that Nigeria will be better off. But yes, kudos to the governor on that. On that. And let's just move on. Because ESCC now, they hear down and now they are eyed on the chooks. So all the people who are arrest will come redirect their focus when we suppose cash out. But, well... Anyways, um, Minister of State for Power says power failure is a thing of the past. Well, I'm saying this with a big smile on my face because I didn't sleep with life. Okay, we are a past good. But well, the Minister of State for Power um, has assured Nigeria that power failure is a thing of the past. Well, it shocked me. But the Minister gave this assurance on Tuesday. I don't know whether I was discussing with Davido when Davido sang assurance. They give me assurance. But well, Davido being at least gift your marker. Up to now, we. We see the on gen but well while speaking in the town hall meeting in abuja uh, organized by the federal ministry of information and culture uh, which was meant to showcase the achievements of the buari led administration on infrastructure and development the minister said the federal government is working hard to assure all houses that meters will be given uh, and he said by the end of the year at least 85 percent of nigerians will be properly metered and will be paying for power so this assurance he's giving us is assurance in the future that by the end of the year it is Five percent of Nigerians will be having meter and they'll be paying for light that they'll be using. Meanwhile, as he was making this statement, Abuja Electricity Distribution Company (AEDC) issued a statement that they are shedding load, and so they will be breaking the lights into different quarters. Not only AEDC, even Echo Distribution Company, in the one in Ibadan. In fact, all over Nigeria right now, everybody's complaining that uh, they don't no get light. So, Oga, this thing of the past is right now in the present, and it is even more shocking that we don't even have where to buy. I'll be fuel to power our generator or even inverter that let the inverter room burn. Sorry, let's not talk about Ministry of Finance. We've passed that side, but like, like let's talk about other people having means of power supply. We know get them for Nigeria, and yet you are saying this issue is a thing of the past. I remember. Madam, what happened? You said no get light. Wow. I mean, this is not only me. Because everybody come office. Everybody wear cloth. Everybody cloth. They iron. Oh, now previous ironing. Okay. Okay, apart from you, that your gypsy skirt. We know say na code. Because gypsy skirt, they need the iron now. <laughs> well done back. But anyways, let's just know that this power issue na a problem. So you saying is in the team of the past. It's in the present. But well, let's move on. We'll go on a quick break. And when we come back, we'll put out that other toy, other gist. Yeah, welcome back to New Seriously. And on this uh, on this note, we are moving into our one of our favorite commentators, the guy and a minister actually. So it's not like a commentator now in working they do, they spread the information. Well, uh, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, has given a reason why the Chinese government has stopped giving Nigeria loans. Well, we recall that the Minister of Transport wrote to me and Michi before before uh, give give us GC. Uh, who they borrow us money? Who they ask for urgent 2K? Say no get again. I'm quite wonder why. Well, according to the Minister of Informate, he says that um, rumors have been spreading online by Nigerians on social media stating that Nigeria is going bankrupt. And with such claims by Nigerians, governments who are willing to help Nigeria, such as China, are now wary of the country. So basically, now on a cousin, where China no one give us. No one borrow us money. Say we don't go their house, go no give us salt, they give us, give us water, they give us money, they give us. Now we go beg again, they no agree give us because we too too cha cha cha. Say we too talk. Oh well. I don't know whether in the listen to Omar or me. If you ask me, now who I go ask? The matter we see, say. It tell where it starts. Well, it don't taste as well that they borrow money from different countries. But now the first time we would hear say that they blame us, say now because we talk. Now they don't give us money. So, like Mohammed, it be like say you wrote to me and Mechi and the federal government. We wanna sit down. We wanna find out the real reason why China no one give us money again. If you be saying that other reasons, they you understand. Like maybe they know they see the workings of where the money enter. You understand? Because even Nigeria see they ask where the money they go. Rail line never complete. Road never complete. Power mm -hmm, we never see. Water some people still they go fetch for stream. We don't spoil. So. Eh, now the, maybe China they ask for walk-ins and even Nigerians never see walk-ins. So of course, they say the majority have their way, while the minority we have their say. And as social media day, we go say oh, we go talk oh, you understand? But let move your move on me quarrel no day before you go talk say. Now me go talk on you seriously. Now nah, China can't decide say they no one give us Chinese food. We they come back. Right? 
You need learning done the advanced medical inductees. Oh, yes. So now people will don't join the medical college now. We the VC done the aim. Say yes, you know, as now that I am a medical doctor, aka doctor, if I or doctor Kileji or doctor Ibru. Anyways, the VC is saying he's greeting all the newly inducted uh, medical doctors and that uh, made they focus on Nigeria, made they no come out for Nigeria go to find greener pasture. Uh, yes. Uh, but I just want to remind the VC. Uh, Say we remember that one of our ministers of uh, employment uh, has said that Nigeria, though we have too many doctors self, and some should consider other career opportunities like tailoring, you know. So some doctors might be considering other career opportunities, even if it's not in Nigeria. So it's good that you've inducted them, you know. Even myself, I have friends that are doctors, but unfortunately, they started writing uh, international exam to Japan. Uh, yes. So the thing is, you cannot blame them for jackpotting, but it's good that you advise them to stay because we need these doctors. Now, the funny thing is that Nigeria actually, my, you know our population, we plenty. And the ratio of patients to doctors is actually quite alarming. One doctor to about 4,000 patients. That is crazy. When it's supposed to be one doctor to 600 patients. Shall not the ratio be that? Shall we not say you know so more plenty like that? So I bet doctors more than still consider, you get Everybody now for Nigeria, they pray me they no sick. Because if you sick, <laughs> or here is your case. If you don't get money, take Jack Pago, like one governor will bid hospital. Can't get accident near the hospital, but still travel abroad. You don't get that kind of money. You understand? So move your respect ourselves. So I bet doctors, I'm going to stay. At least when they induct you, stay for like five, six years before you reason Jack Pago. At least gain more experience with the Nigerian system. So that when you go abroad, you know the tear patient slap. <laughs> That's another gift. We'll be right back. <laughs>